this is my second video in the uh, Mac Ruby tutorial series. Uh, I will be showing you how to use NS Table View and uh, uh, implement the data source protocol um, in Mac Ruby. So right now, in Interface Builder, go ahead and drag in a table view or an NS Table View. Uh, put it anywhere you want. Let's make it bigger, just for the sake of the tutorial. And uh, let's make this column wider, kind of spread it out a little bit more. Doesn't really matter. And um, so really quickly, we have within our table view, we have uh, two table columns, which is fine for the tutorial. We'll just use the, the default two table columns. The title of the first one can be uh, column zero, I suppose. The identifier, which we will need, is uh, we'll call it column, column zero without any spaces or uh, uh, capital letters. Uh, the second column would be column one, identifier, column one. Bam. One more thing before going into code, go select the table view in the connections area, uh, drag from data source to our app delegate. If you wanted to, you could implement an, uh, another class that, uh, that was just for doing the data source of the table view, but in this case, we won't do that. Just uh, we'll connect to the app delegate, and I will not be showing you specifically the uh, delegate protocol oh, whoops, in this tutorial, but uh, I will show you the documentation for it before I end it uh, in the video. Uh, so in app delegate, we're going to define a few methods. First of which would be awake from nib. That's an initialization method where we can uh, declare um, our instance variables. Because if you try to declare instance variables in application did finish launching, they would not be uh, referenceable outside of that method because it's not really an initialize a class initialization method. Um, so we'll call this at data and uh, it'll be a two-dimensional array. Um, there's a, an array for each column or I'm sorry, an array for each row and then within each row there's two columns obviously. So uh, our data is just going to be string um, row one, column one, uh, row one, column two. I hope you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Um, row two, column. Whoops. Uh, column one. Row two, column two. Bam. That's our uh, data array end. And. Uh, we don't really need to do anything and application did finish launching. Now we're going to define a few more methods. If you go ahead and pull up the documentation, search NS table view and select uh, NS table view data source. Uh, the first method we'll um, implement is number of rows in table view and the parameter that it passes is a table view. So um, def number of rows in table view a table view. Bam. And this just returns um, the number of rows in our data source and at data.size. Uh, another method we have to uh, declare is table view object value for table column. Go ahead and select that and I will show you how you can implement these multi-parameter Objective-C methods in Ruby. So it's def table view and in parentheses we have the first parameter a table view and then comma and the nice thing about Ruby 1.9 is we can also we also have this this uh, key value uh, colon notation so object value for table column colon uh, object value for table column and a or I'll just say a column and then finally row colon uh, row index and now uh, we'll have a local variable row data equals um, at data and in square brackets uh, we're looking for the row index the uh, row at row index and then we're gonna have a case statement where we pass a column uh, identifier. This is why we 
um, defined the identifiers of the columns in the interface builder and when um, we had like column zero right and so when column zero we return row data um, the zeroth uh, element within that array and when column one we return the row data and the, the first well, technically the second um, element within that row array and that uh, ends the method bam and that should work if you go and run it bam we have a table view we have columns and we have our data being properly set within uh, uh, within each individual cell so we have row one one column one then we have row one column two row two column one row two column two so that's exactly what we were looking for and this tutorial is almost done one more thing uh, I will not once again I will not actually show the uh, implementation of the delegate protocol for in its table view but uh, you can find all the methods within the uh, documentation here you know so the delegate protocol is just used uh, for like when for example a row is selected or they try to somebody tries to sort the rows in in a uh, table view the delegate protocol connects those actual events to methods within your defined class that's the delegate uh, class so you know all you have to do to implement that is select the table view uh, in interface builder and with connections you just connect the delegate to whatever class you want to be the delegate um, you know you could use app delegate once again uh, it's up to you though so uh, that's all for this tutorial um, I will be making more Mac Ruby tutorials whether that uh, means uh, I'll be talking like you know whether or not I'm talking about uh, just like cocoa and, or Ruby concepts or like uh, interface elements within Coco, whatever. I'll, I will be making more Rack, Mac Ruby tutorials because it is a cool framework and everything. And if you haven't checked out my blog, it's connordenman.com. I have more tutorials there, and um, I'm at Connor Denman on Twitter. In case uh, you want to just uh, follow me and see what I'm doing. Uh, thanks for watching.